a famous face, defiled and defaced. All by thieves working in the dark of night. You'll remember this story. The bronze bust of President John F. Kennedy seen there swiped from its downtown Tucson home of nearly 40 years, only to be found months later dumped in a wash. The president's famous form, battered and beaten. Nine on your sides, Maggie Vespa is downtown with an exclusive update on his recovery. That's right. In order to pull off their harrowing heist, police believe the thieves took a crowbar or something similar to the bust and its base here, clearly up their crime. It looked like someone took a hammer and chisel and and possibly tried to break it into smaller pieces. Safe to say it is the facelift. Luckily enough, when it was stolen, Mr. Kennedy never wanted some of the uh, pieces remain. But Jay Luger and his crew at Metal Physics on Tucson's west side knew the hard part, locating the swipe statue, was over. Now JFK just needed some TLC. Heavy metal style. We actually used the 1964 little scraps here to do the welding. Their trickiest task, covering the wear on the president's nose. Bronze statues. Indeed, similar crimes across like the country show that heavy, is true. But here in Tucson, city officials are just glad to have their 50-pound bronze president back, and they're thankful for the gold star treatment he received here. It's very gratifying. It's, it's a gift back to the community. According to Tucson police, no progress at this point on finding Mr. Kennedy's kidnappers, but city officials say they don't care. They're just focused on getting that bust back on this base by the end of the month with some super duty and super secret reinforcements. Reporting downtown, I'm Maggie Vespa. KGUN 9 on your side.